like if you ever got a history with anybody, some people don't want to touch you. To make an important announcement, perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. Oh I my God, Chinese Opera Time. Planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Uh, because you lost, you know, like I gotta rebuild it. Rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's a huge project. Yes, it is. What else isn't there? So the rumors are true. Of building materials has gone up so much lately. Maybe there's another reason, but you just had to go with the first thing that was on your mind. The Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Yeah, your name will be placed in history. Lady Ningguang, is there anyone who can be of service? Uh, can you somehow climb up in the sky like Minecraft and build a floating sky island? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. You're all volunteers. Get to work. The building site has been chosen, and most Mom of the materials have been Mom wanted me to go, but I'll be assembled. in the Twitch chat. Thank you the for actually... The items are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. And she's like, no, don't do it. Why, does she actually know the materials? And he's like, no, don't uh, do it. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguan. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Vermilionite is the floating material. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They oh. are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Oh, that's how you make a floating island! I still don't know how to do it. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, Procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. In other words, you won't take a no for an answer and you'll just, yeah, expect everybody to do it. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials will have the opportunity to ask me a question. Like why? You may ask me anything. And I will give you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's satisfaction. I mean, I am pretty much, like, some people will ask the most ridiculous question and even the most absurd, and they'll get the most ridiculous response. Like a simple, no. <laughs> These things won't be easy to get hold of. But if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liyue Harbor's development plan for next year, then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plot strike just the other day. So you know about it. Plot strike. <sighs> Better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. So we have to finish off the Leeway Archon quest before we go so to you Ina's room. announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Can you really ask anything at all? Yes. Providing the question Maybe pertains to something I am not sure about. Really? Ooh, the <laughs> of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. Mm. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been slight. I have other business to attend. Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity. Okay, so in other words, I gotta go get it right now. Super busy. First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily as it happens. No. 
we have some information about the materials that I really think... No, I don't need it. Ah, don't be like that. Hey, come on! Why don't you she stand there? She ain't interested. Oh, right, yeah. She ain't interested. Move on. I gotta try to unlock a new character. The crane returns on the wind. Moon Carver, flower retainer. We think we have some useful information. Flower. Hey, flower. Got seen flower. Oh, children, come, come. <laughs> you arrived at just the right moment. Uh, I'm looking for you. Are you gonna ask me to go inside your teapot again? so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. Yeah, basically fought off a fish god. Single-handedly. Well, that's not true. I had help. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to... A gift? For Paimon? I only did as, as I should. <laughs> oh, child. You are so very... My name's not modest. child. <laughs> Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. You want me to take the teapot? That simply won't do. Especially since I imagine you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Subspace. Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. So, you have the power to create worlds within worlds? Is that how... Like the teapot thing worked? I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. Yeah. The teapot that you went in previously was a little trinket created using. So, if the eyes of an adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Hmm. Oh, so, that's why the there's a world inside the teapot. Is nothing to boast of. Sort of myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Mm, I'm pretty sure some people would argue what the idea of true power is, but just the idea, like, you could create small worlds. He could manipulate big worlds. I don't know, which is real true power? <laughs> But that's enough nostalgia for What are now. the missing materials? The that's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! Because we do fetch quests all the time! Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to... What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching and for. And what are they? Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, okay. you would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And, but almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is even more difficult to find this miraculous jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Chasm. Or so it used to be. Ever since the Blackcliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all in any the case. Chasm. Miragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Ah, goodness knows if that child will succeed in finding these items. Is it the child we know? Yes, I suppose she does count as an adeptus. She counts? How come there are so many adepti in Leela Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. <laughs> Maybe so, who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of 
mundane mortal life after all. Because I get bored of having an action-packed life. I'm back, Granny. Hmm. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. Yen She's Fei. the one helping run some errands for me. Yen Fei, I believe you've already heard of the Traveler and her traveling companion. Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about him in the Millilith's records. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui, before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chisang. <sighs> what a shame. That pretty much explains everything in a nutshell, except for the shame part. Like why, you could have done it better? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? If we had. Well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Well, if that is the case, then what took you so long? Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. So in other words, you're like the female version of Phoenix Wright. In a way. Oh, yes. here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. Because that's what lawyers do in Japan. They, it's a it's a thing in Japan where you just hand out business cards. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. How much? How much freaking legal trouble does everybody get into? I really wonder. Oh. Yenfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I think she is doing it. These two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. That's very contradictory. Let's let's get to business. These people are not in legal trouble, which is not of any legal business. It's, it's contradictory. You'll have to excuse Yenfei. She's always been like this. Uh, with a talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Are you really an adeptus? And you are not upset they left you all alone. Okay! Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Because that's a thing with some parents in China or Japan. It's just parents moving away and leaving their kids behind for whatever reason. Well, my dad did say that he talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. Maybe this is how we find it. Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I know, Granny. You've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm is definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Speaking of, the chasm, I did hear from Patrick that it was an area a little bit more west of Leeway, where you can find the Chasm area, which is like a mining area. But I haven't even gone that far yet. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. 
hell did that just come from? And Pyro was like, what? <laughs> That book is making some weird noises. Ah, found him. Crossel. A Snezhnaya merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with the rare ores. So he might know where the the jade site or whatever the hell it is. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. Mm. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. We'll go with you. Oh, you want to join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Yeah, you, you seem to know about that. Wow, an adept is imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. That's the first for sure. Uh huh. Best we be a little more careful than usual while we're winter. Hold on. Smack. Please. <laughs> well, you look at that man. Nowhere left to run. Don't worry. We're not bad guys. You give us some more, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Nobody's a winner in a situation like this. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. Yeah, she'll kick your ass, because that's what any female character in an anime will often do. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? Yeah, well, that's the thing. Chasing your losses does get you into more losses. I've already told you. I don't need your information. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to... Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you. Take it. I won't... No more excuses! Money. I saw you. How you know? Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, and only taking a few bites. And she knew a kiosk, then one mean restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. So? How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, What's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? The master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harp, but here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. You should have listened to your subordinate. Boss, I'm telling you something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. Uh, so for everything she's worth. Oh, you again. Well, what are the Millowith doing here? Did you do this? Hmm? You want to mind your own business? Heist silence. How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. <laughs> no, 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 don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. Please, let me explain. I'm going to take several looking at the warrior surrounding the young lady with white hair. Yeah, they, they'll have plenty of time to explain. Uh, you alright? Shen He. Shen He? Shen He? My name. Oh, Shen He. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Hi, Nan Neiman. Well, hi, Nan. And this is Pine Obvious Pine statement Pine. is obvious. Hmm. I've heard about you two before. <laughs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. <laughs> I could have dealt with it myself, though. I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. I don't think he, like, would have even learned at that point, but that's just me. <laughs> Imagine if she actually did do that. <laughs> yeah, well, is there a law for preventing the stuff that led to that kind of stuff? No, I didn't think so. Laws? 
you not heard of the law, Schnehe? What is a law? I just break it all the time. No, apparently not. Really? So how exactly have you... Not broken the law? Uh, what was that noise? That would be my stomach growling. I haven't eaten enough. Why, you want to go to a restaurant? She's so honest. Wait, that's right. They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other, but only took a small bite of each dish. Why? Then of course you're still hungry. So, anything in particular you're hungry for? Mm. Chingston, glazed lily, violet grass. These are my usuals. Those are all medicinal herbs. They're not freaking uh, cuisine stuff. I don't know. <laughs> mm, medicinal herb? I know how to explain. Anyway, Google Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shanta there for a big medicinal meal. What? Feeding her medicine? After all, you can't work on an empty stomach. Except me. I seem to do that a lot when I do my doubles. So I pretty much am like a the only exception here. I work on an empty stomach almost all the time. I just drag myself from one thing to the next. I barely think while doing my work. Yes, she is. She got magical powers. No. Are you here to buy some herbs? Yes. I do hope you brought your prescription. What else would we be here for? Jameson, Blaze Lily, and Violet Grass, please. Half a pound of each. Are you gonna charge us uh, an arm and a leg? What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Just like that. Thank you. And there it is, laid out on the table. She's really eating them. I'm not gonna judge. Then everyone's assigned for polishes off the medicinal herbs. <sighs> My hunger has now abated. How do they taste? Thank you. Do they taste all medicine? Mm, rather awful. Why did you eat them if they were awful? Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance. After consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. Like, I'm not going to judge because I drink, like, Worko supplements as food sometimes but this is just a whole other like like raw ingredient thing at least i mix my ingredients up in a cup of water before i like drink it all down you just take it all you take it without mixing anything so how can you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food if Paimon had enough mora Paimon would go to the fancy restaurants and get the food no. because i'm not sure whether i will remain here in the future because you want to die and you're trying to not feel so bad as you go out. Why do I keep thinking she has a death wish? The food of the mortal realm is most delicious. But should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Okay, so it's spiritual development? Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Uh huh, and the guy at the the counter is like, what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> She was an adeptist. Yeah, so? Mm, enough about me. What are your plans from here? Uh, the Jedi. Oh, I need to know where it is. Right. Paimon almost forgot. We came and... And now we're probably super... Hmm, I see. Hmm, huh? Hey, yep. You get to ask Ningguang any question you... Were you interested in the contest too, Shenhao? Hmm, I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber. But until this point, I had no intention of joining a contest. Why? However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Okay. Wow. You really don't have to, but having an adeptus help out will make things a little lot easier. Sure. So... Let's join forces and do something like the Power Rangers, because why not? Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Great. Mm. I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then, we alone shall become the victors. Mm. No! That is not acceptable! No! 
really. But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Really? Does it mean getting rid of the competition? If not trying to do things on your own? Look, we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? Yeah, well, it's like her idea could very well backfire and get rid of us because we're also seen as someone who's in the competition. I was wondering who I could hear arguing over that. I see. So, it's you. Uh -huh. What are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Is she gonna eat the wound dressing? Like the herbs? Huh? Why do you need so much wound dressing all of a sudden? Oh god, is it another eating ingredient? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I d oh, and she also borrowed Chi Chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very shorthanded right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work by any chance? Ah, uh, dang it. Ah, the variety of plostrite used in the jade chamber, yes? There is some mention of it, Fire. as far as the records show. Virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun Commerce Guild would know far more. Okay then, let's go after the Feiyun. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's any... Okay. At some point, I need to unlock these characters. Up and down the stairs. Also, it turned nighttime just like that. Master Sinchu, thank goodness you're finally back. Huh? Why do I detect an urgency in your voice? Ah, uh, Jingyong. The guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Right. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Xingqiu. Glad you're here. Do they know each other? I can barely remember King Show. Whatever the hell. Ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the Guild's orders in more detail later on. Understood, Master Xingqiu. And I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Shinchu, have you ever heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. Yes. As well? Do you mean. Everybody has entered. Why should you ever be surprised for whoever else is in there? The truth is. The Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but only one piece. How do you get more? We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. And a lot of interested parties have already come to us inquiring about the price. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of 500 million more. Mm. 500 million?! I don't think I can afford it. Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated, and it's just not worth it. But, but that'd be Sunset Vermilion. Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard of Seagazer? Who? Never heard of him. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper, but if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. Yes. According to records of Drifting Clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures. Also, I'm feeling and tired. I'm going to take a break after this. Sunset Vermilionite. Oh, I gotta do something about the Sunset Vermilionite. After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Okay. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode. Cross and after cross-referencing them, it's area. Um, no. No. You need to worry. As far as I understand, 
Seagazer was very open-minded. Was Seagazer Even a bird? Even he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this open-minded. I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. Hmm. All right, then. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Um, there's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Maybe you were friends with that one person before and you just, like forgot and didn't recognize her when she came back. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Yes, it's likely to be crawling with monsters after being abandoned for so long. So please, be very careful. Kinda like the, uh, uh, the ballista we just recently repaired. Okay, we will be. Ugh, I gotta take a break. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's see. Shinto said it should be around here, but Paimon doesn't see anything. You ever thought that maybe it could be hard to find? Or did you just assume, I don't see anything! I don't get it! It's probably invisible or something. It needs to be activated by magic. Also, it's raining. Why is it raining? Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Very well, hey, a trick. But now that I have it, we can inspect the area more closely. Special editor, we can inspect. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Obvious team is obvious. Yes, it is amazing. What do you expect? Hey, look! Is that a new ceiling over there? What the hell is a ceiling? I don't know. What a ceiling is! I, I don't know, maybe I saw it before, but I forgot, but my memory is sh crap. The ceiling got to here and then disappeared. Should we go over and take a look? Yes! Okay, it's one of these things. Let's go right in. Uh, I got Geo, I got Animo, I got whatever. Oh, just go. 